Okay, so good morning. It is Monday morning, and <laughs> some fire uh, alarms just went by, and the dogs are barking out there like crazy. I hope that isn't uh, disturbing you. But uh, my name is Royal, and this is my morning devotional. It is Monday, June the 27th, and uh, I pray through the Bible. That's how I do my devotional. It helps me stay connected with God and, and get to know Him better because I have a hard time thinking sometimes about what to pray, so this really helps. But today I'm going to be uh, uh, in Philippians chapter 3, verse 3, and... Um, It talks about the change that we have in our life because of Jesus, the spiritual change, Paul writes, because he's just got through chewing out the uh, very religious people who were on the new Christians for not being circumcised like they were because they were Jewish. So uh, I start off my prayer getting focused on God using a template I have on the Lord's Prayer, Father in Heaven. I recognize you as God uh, above all. May your name be kept holy in everything that I do today. May my focus be on your spirit. And may I work for you today, not by that boss. And I'm going to tell you something. If you have a boss you don't really like a whole lot, then working for God will change your attitude about your boss. Give me what I need today, both physically and spiritually. Forgive me for my sins. And Lord, would you point out the sins that I need to be forgiven for? I may be in denial about some. And then may I forgive those who sin against me right after they sin against me. Protect me from temptations and keep me away from evil or negative influences. Those can mess with you. And then today, I will... Today, you will be the main focus of everything that I do, God. You will, you will receive the glory for everything that happens to me, good and bad today, knowing that you mean for it to be good for me according to what your plan is. So today's verse is Philippians 3.3. 3, for we who worship by the Spirit of God are the ones who are truly circumcised, we're the ones that are truly changed. We're the ones that are truly reborn. Remember, circumcision was a, a symbol of the Jewish people for uh, being in God's covenant. Well, Jesus changed that, and we're in God's covenant because of Jesus now. We, we rely on what Christ Jesus has done for us. Isn't that awesome? There's nothing you can do to earn God's favor or righteousness because you have to be spiritually reborn and the only way you can be spiritually reborn is through the Spirit and the only way you can be spiritually reborn through the Spirit is uh, through Jesus. So here's my prayer for today. Dear Heavenly Father, thank you for Jesus who came and changed me and made me spiritually righteous. In your eyes, that's important, not self-righteousness, spiritually righteous in God's eyes is I cannot change myself. I can't change myself. So that's my prayer today is, is that we're grateful, that you're grateful. And, and if you haven't come to a point in your life where you've realized that Jesus is the only one that can make you righteous because you have to be spiritually reborn. You know, every other faith teaches about trying to earn God's love and not ever really feeling like they get there. Well, Jesus makes it so our sins are forgiven and uh, and we become righteous because of that. So, so maybe that's something that you need to do. Uh, do you believe in Jesus? Have you made Jesus the Lord of your life? Uh, if you have, the Bible says, Jesus says, you were reborn. When the Jewish people said, well, what do we got to do to to uh, go to heaven, Jesus said, "You, you have to be reborn. You can't, you can't earn your way into that." Uh, so, thank you so much for being here today. I do this Monday through Friday uh, at 6:30 if it loads up right. So, uh, thank you very much. God bless. Uh, see you tomorrow.